take her to six under par. The veteran Marina Alex, third shot at the par five six. More than one way to make an eagle, Judy. Like that. That's one way to do it. Hey. Marina Alex, go to four, make it six under par. Eighth, Marina Alex. This little dog leg par four is playing back into the wind today for the players. Mm, this looks like this is going to be just fine down the middle of the fairway. Yeah, if you can take it down the middle of the fairway at eight, you might get a little kick to the left. A little bit into the wind off the right. Okay, what? Certainly sounded good. Sounded like a really solid strike. But I do know that the players get an awful lot of confidence from from having a system to use. It gives them something to sort of hang their hat on and they believe in it and trust it. There's no doubt about that. I just wonder for the average person at home. Marina just with the positional club here to put it into a spot down there on the fairway. Just taking a little bit of draw. Wow, a bit of run and the charge in that fairway. It can be blocked out if you go too straight. There's a tree on the left side which begins to infringe on the view of the flag. The straighter you go. Right of it again today, but the wind is off the right from this angle with a little bit of help too. All right, well, some 35-yard difference in the two shots. Let's see if it makes a difference for the length of third shot. Ten, Alex. You stick it a good lie. No problem here in that rough. 114 to the flag. Greens are starting to firm up just a little bit though. With this wind. Practice rounds, the golf course was very firm and Roll fast. And then before the first round, there was heavy rain. Yesterday, it was ball in hand, lift clean in place. It also could be that there's some sneaky little breaks around that, that hole too, Tom. Could be a little bit grainy. I'll get up there and have a good look. It's on the little high fade here. Yeah, she to stop with the high fade and, well, not three shots that finished close. Um, as the day went on yesterday, it started to pick up a little bit. Same here. And I think it's, I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with this part of the golf course that we're on right now. Seems to be a little bit more exposed. And so the wind kind of comes into play a bit more. <laughs> Didn't make any. Just to stay four under. Well, she would have seen the lines that went past the hole, but still really focusing on what she has to do. A few of us had the chance to go visit PGA Frisco. Well, it's downwind today, Tom, but the, the bunkers on the corner do come into play for Marina, so she has to play left of them. Yeah, yesterday we were seeing players, the long hitters going over those bunkers. There, you can just see in the bottom of your screen on the right side. In fact, they were driving it right to those bunkers and really cutting off. Well, I don't believe she's long enough to get there, but trying to find a position to play a third shot into this elevated green, the par five. Well, she has holed out. Now, this is a very awkward um, green, so Marina really uh, put her second shot in a great spot where she could just look right at the throat of the green. Good shot. You're almost never wrong if you can get the ball hole high, and that's exactly what she did. Oh, yes, well done. And it's not, she's not going to have to fight the grass. It's not growing against her, but it's not going to help her either. Couldn't see it at all, actually. No, nah, she has 135, so it's only a short time, which does help. And she does think... run it up. Oh, wow. It's still running. Uh, you're not going to see a better shot than that from the fairway today. Mm -mm. Well, as you said, you, you sort of have to embrace the opportunity that uh, when recovery presents yeah, itself. Oh, wow. She certainly did there. Now alone in third at six under. It's been a rough summer. She's missed 